I'm Dana Hillis Land, Technical Support Manager at Vermont Photo Inkjet. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our refillable cartridges for the Epson R2400 and R1800. Before starting, set up your workstation, either a set of refillable cartridges, one or more syringes with blunt tip needles, and your choice of ink. Make sure you thoroughly read the instructions before starting. Let's review the parts of the cartridge. The air vent hole, the chip, the exit channel, the exit valve, and the fill hole. Make certain that you shake the ink carefully and match the color of the ink to the cartridge position. In this case, we're using piezo flush. Remove the sealant cap. Insert the syringe to draw fluid. Remove the fill hole. Remove the blunt tip needle. This cartridge is going to be vacuum filled. Draw the vacuum, then release to allow the contents of the syringe to flow into the cartridge. Do not be tempted to push the plunger down to force fluid into the cartridge. Just pull and release. Tapping removes air bubbles. Fill the cartridge, but leave a small amount of air remaining. Gently remove the syringe from the cartridge and replace the fill hole tab. Make certain that the exit chamber is filled with the ink or the fluid that you're using. To prime the cartridge, tap it on a table using a paper towel underneath it with the exit valve down and the air up. You must remove the vent tabs when these cartridges are used in a printer. If the vent tab remains closed, then a vacuum forms and no ink can exit the cartridge. We'll now remove the vent tab from this new cartridge. To refill the cartridge, you must replace the air vent tab. This way you can create a vacuum. About 15 milliliter of fluid is used to refill an empty or near empty cartridge. Dana is removing the fill hole tab and inserting the syringe. To create the vacuum, she pulls back on the plunger and then releases it. She is not pushing the plunger down with any force. She's just pulling back and releasing. Do not be tempted to force ink into the cartridge. Only allow it to be replaced by the vacuum. Do not forget to put the fill hole plug back in. She's priming. The chips are programmed to auto reset but you can manually reset with a small format chip resetter. Align the pins to the chip and press until you get a green light. 